Aloha, welcome back, international friends, shifters, dreamers from all across this holographic matrix. This is Brendan, and you are tuned in to another live broadcast episode of Waking Up With Wolf, broadcasted live across Instagram, across Facebook, and across YouTube, because that's the way we do it here. So, a huge shout out to everyone making this live. If you're tuning into the future, equally appreciated. Again, this is an opportunity for us to be able to start our day with intention, or maybe you're watching this later in the day. Maybe you live on the other side of the planet, and maybe you're like ending your day with a little bit of routine, a little bit of community, a little bit of just like dropping into this space to remember who we are, to be able to align with our purpose, to be able to open up to more clarity, all those beautiful things. If you are watching this at any point, please let me know, <clears throat> excuse me, please let me know if you share it. If you're watching this on Facebook, take a couple moments, <clears throat> take a couple moments just to be able to share this to some groups, share it with some friends, share it afterwards. Let me know if you shared it. So if you're watching this on Instagram, you can literally share the lives directly to a few friends. So yeah, you can like post and tag me in your stories and stuff like that, equally appreciated, but just let me know when you do share it because again, we're creating this not just for your own benefit, but for something that you can use as a tool to be able to help accelerate the shift by sharing it with others, to be able to help more of us awaken into our own consciousness. So again, super grateful to have everyone here. It is an honor, a duty, and a privilege to be able to start our morning off with this intention, with this little ceremony. And of course, today is the next day following the full moon. How are we feeling today? How are we feeling in this moment? Let's check in. So let's just loosen up our body a bit. Just want to invite you to just kind of like shake your shoulders, do a little bit of dance, invite yourself to feel a little flow, listen to your body, <sighs> begin connecting with your breath. Don't even just follow what I'm doing, just kind of intuitively allow yourself to even just slow down and find a rhythm that matches your breath. Drop into that space, allowing yourself to fill your cup with peace, fill your cup with serenity. Stretching your arms up above your head if you want to, reaching up to the sky. On the exhale, gently bringing your hands down past heart center. Do one more of those if you want to, or whatever else you feel comfortable with. Reach, 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 reach. Spread your fingers, reach as if there are no limits. And gentle exhales through the mouth. Beautiful. So again, part of the routine as we do this is to be able to just do a little check-in, be able to share some inspiration, to be able to build some relationships, get us pumped, get us aligned with our purpose, and then of course we'll be going into the chakra meditation. For those of you on Instagram, I just put up a post, and as I'm talking right now, honestly, just begin massaging yourself. Like, that's that's your instructions. Just begin massaging your face. If I'm ever not doing anything, that doesn't mean you have to stop doing something. So just listen to your body, but begin, go ahead, just begin massaging yourself. So I put up a post today about the chakra about like what it is that we're working with here through this practice and you know the chakras are incredibly important and a lot of people within the spiritual community we, we've heard of the chakras uh, we kind of understand them within the basics and everything like that and we have probably heard about the idea that there's correlating mudras and vibrations that resonate with each chakra but how many how many of us have experienced direct Root, like direct chakra meditations and not even just that but the routine of it maybe we've been to a really cool singing bowl ceremony and those are amazing and we've and if we've done that we know like how life-changing that can be well just think about like the feeling that you might have had from that and the the benefit of being able to bring this into a daily practice, a daily routine. So simply put, since we're always having new people tuned into this broadcast, I want to be able to explain what the chakras are to you real quick to be able to practice, to be able to practice communicating, and to be able to give you a little bit of direction to encourage you to practice communicating this as well. So that time, next time, the next time someone comes up to you and they're just like, hey, can you Tell me a bit about the chakras. Like, what's what's the deal with these chakra things, right? So keep hearing about them everywhere. So the chakras in themselves, and again, just go ahead. Just keep massaging yourself. Do any sort of body movement you want. Mudras. The chakras in themselves, 
can best be understood when we understand that this physical body is not the only body we have. It's actually part of a bigger series of bodies. And these other bodies are the etheric, the mental, and the astral. And basically, those can be thought of very simply as your energetic bodies. And so the chakras themselves are literally organs of perceptions. The word chakra means spinning disc. They are ways for information to be able to come in and move out. It's like a wormhole that's a portal at the same time. And this is essentially like the reason why chakras work the way they do is because essentially this is how everything works, even on a very microcosmic and macrocosmic level. You know, it's this idea of the breath. Things come in, things go out. The chakras themselves, information comes in, intention goes out. It's that sort of flow, that sort of pattern. So the chakras themselves, they correlate to different organs throughout our body and each of those organs has a different purpose and each of the chakras correlates to different different parts of our personality different parts of our perception that together create the whole that together build up who we are again in the same way the different organs throughout our body have to focus on one thing at a time in order to be able to do it successfully and there's a big lesson here because i want to be able to get into that in a second and I just want to remind you that, again, you know, like your heart, your heart beats. That's what it does. It focuses on beating. That's the one thing it has to do. It beats and it pumps blood throughout your body. That's the one thing it has to do. Your heart does not digest your food. Your heart does not function as a bladder. Your heart is not your throat. It is your heart. It does one thing at a time, but it does it well. In the same way, each chakra focuses on each of those different virtues, each of those faculties, which are part of your abilities. And it does it well because it's the one thing that it focuses on. So the one thing I just wanted to be able to explain here, and again, I just want to, again, just keep keep massaging yourself. Go ahead, just keep massaging yourself. Ooh, massage those shoulders, massage those traps. So again, I just want to be able to pass on to you a little bit of inspiration, especially, especially coming out of the full moon, you know? With the full moon, you might have been feeling a lot. You might have been feeling like, hey, I'm ready to like conquer the world. Or maybe you're just like, hey, I'm ready to, I'm ready to conquer the world, but in order to be optimized, I know I need to rest. I know I need to relax. And that's okay, right? Listening to trust in the magic of the moon. Some of you saw that post that I put up the other day. But what we want to be able to do moving forward is really understand the benefit of putting our focus on one thing at a time. Honestly, for all of the entrepreneurs out there, for all the people that are just like here to help change the world, one of the common fallbacks, one of the common like lessons that we have to learn is that if we have our focus spread too thin, it's not really functioning. We're not really getting done what we need to get done. We need to be able to like build bridges properly instead of having a bunch of half built bridges. You know, we need to like focus on one bridge, get that bridge across, you know, maybe that bridge is like a project you're working on. Maybe that bridge is like developing your financial stability, your first step as like an entrepreneur. And then you start opening up into the other aspects. So again, just being able to remind yourselves that when we focus, when we really choose where we want to put our focus and we put it on like one place at a time, that is incredibly, incredibly powerful. Now, not to say you're not allowed to multitask, but just be aware if too much multitasking is actually preventing you from accomplishing what it is that you want to do. So build build that first bridge, get it completed, and then start building the other bridges. Again, you have to be able to survive in order to be able to thrive. So it's a bit of a stepping stone. But again, you know, the one thing that I just want to be able to remind us of, oh, that's a good spot right there. The one thing I want to be able to remind us of is that... Above and, above and beyond everything that we are doing here, we need, to be, we need to be reminded to root ourselves in our purpose. This is very, very, very important. So for all of you out there who are feeling called to change the world, and you're just like, yeah, I want to change the world. I want to be able to make this my livelihood. I want to be able to make money from this so that I can support myself, so that I can fuel more of my work. Root yourself in your purpose. And everything else will come from that. If you are not deeply rooted in what your purpose is, then even if you were to get to that part of your journey where you're just like, yay, like I'm like, I'm making money, I'm driving fast cars and things like that. But eventually you'll get to a point where you're just like, but I'm not happy. And why aren't I happy? And the reason why you're not happy is because you're not clear on what your purpose is. So for everyone listening to this, get clear on what your purpose is. 
And maybe you haven't even asked yourself that. What is your purpose? Why are you here? Everyone here is for their own unique reason, their own unique journey. And I think if you're watching this, you're here because you're here to help shift consciousness. And in a broad sense, yes, that is your purpose. And I give you this as well, that this is something that I reflected on as well. And we're going to move right into the chakra meditations in a second, is that for me, and, and I talked about this before, but it's very important. Part of my purpose, it, it's multi-layered, but part of my purpose, very simply put, is to be able to help lead people back to their own heart. And to think about that, to really think about what that means. Because the heart is like metaphorically, like, yeah, it's like a thing. It represents compassion, but there's also a wisdom. There's also a wisdom to the heart. So when we lead ourselves back to our own heart, it really is kind of opening up more into this process of remembering. And, and through this process, things kind of begin to naturally unfold. So what is your purpose? Are you here to be a songwriter? Are you here to make music? Are you here to make video? Are you here to facilitate community, to be able to lead meditation? Are you here to be a dancer? Are you here to be able to write amazing poetry, to write a book? You're here to express yourself. You're here to be able to share the gifts that are inside of you. So part of your purpose is to function as a channel to be able to get your gifts out into the world so that it continues to inspire and serve others. That's part of your purpose. But again, I want you to be able to ask deeper, what is, what is your purpose? And again, as you really tap into that, as you really tap into the idea of understanding what your purpose is, you bring that with you into everything that you do. So like, again, as entrepreneurs, and there's so many of us, and it's beautiful to see, there's so many of us that are, that are activating as entrepreneurs. We're, we're just, this is, this is the beauty of this day and age we live in. We don't have to do it the way our parents did. We have the ability to be digital nomads. We can literally, you know, work from our phone. We can go anywhere we want. We can live our passions. We can live our dreams. But again, aligning with your purpose is the foundation that moves us towards that place of profit so get there, and then from there, boop, 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 there's a few steps, but you're rising up the mountain, and again, it's just like, it's a journey, it's a journey, and making sure that you have your foundation and purpose is super, 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 super important, so thank you, thank you for stepping into your purpose, so this practice that we're doing right here, as we move into the chakra meditation, I just want to be able to invite you, let's just connect with our breath just a couple more times, then we'll go right into the chakra meditation, but this chakra meditation is here to help us align with our purpose because the purpose of this chakra meditation is to be able to help open up to more of our faculties our esoteric faculties our abilities as multi-dimensional beings and also to be able to step into more grace and more clarity and more inspiration so that we can show up oftentimes it's really easy for us to just be like oh like this world it's it's so heavy oh, oh. Like, but this is like this is like putting on our wings anything can come at us we see it as a lesson from the universe. We have that wisdom. We have that insight. <sighs> Not why is this happening to me, but what is this teaching me? Little mindset shifts. These powerful things, these powerful routines that drastically shift the paradigms of how we live our day-to-day -day life. So let's just do a few more breaths here. I just want to be able to invite you to just do any sort of hand mudra that you want that correlates to your breath. So with gentle inhales, and gentle exhales, Allow yourself to be in this place of peace. Use this moment to fill your cup with peace. So just relax. Invite yourself into this space. Feeling that stillness. Feeling that connection with breath. Releasing any thoughts of yesterday, releasing any thoughts of what you're doing today, and just fill your cup with peace in this moment. One more deep breath here. Again, thank you everyone for being here, for showing up. Yeah, you're showing up. You're, I, I enjoy you being here, but you're here for you. This is 
to give you something that is of value. So thank you for reciprocating this value. And again, just reminding you, after this broadcast, send me a DM. Let me know you watched it. I have a two-hour lecture all about chakras. I want you to be able to watch it. If you're serious about this practice, watch this presentation. It's by the Gnostic Association. It's not by me, but it's incredibly valuable, and it will help you understand more of what we're doing here. And I invite you to be able to continue to show up to this practice as much as possible. We're going to do this chakra meditation for about 15 minutes. If you can do it longer, absolutely do it longer. Check out my post on IG. Screenshot that. Remind yourself of the correlating mudras. Practice that throughout your day as best as you can. So let's straighten up the spine. Let's start off. We're starting off with the brow chakra, and this is the vowel I pronounced as in ski, so e, and the correlating virtue to this is serenity, so much of what we were doing, just dropping into that place of peace. You will note that we don't directly work with the crown chakra within this practice, we work through the other chakras, the crown chakra is, an, is a culminating chakra, meaning that you activate these chakras in order to be able to access the working with the crown chakra. It's a little bit different, but it's what it is for this practice. So. With this, I just want to be able to invite us to gently close our eyes, and through working with the brow chakra, we are also tapping into the faculty of clairvoyance, so being able to receive additional information, speaking with our spirit selves, our guides, being able to have that insight, sight beyond sight, inner vision. Closing your eyes, straighten up your spine, take a gentle inhale, exhale, no mantra, and then together we'll do the mantra E and again, just focusing on being in this moment, serenity. So just take one more breath here. Gentle air, exhale just on its own. And together, next one, mantra begins. E to the next one. Deep breath. E Together, one more. Focus on the vibration. Feel it. Be aware of it. E Breathe here, deep, gentle breaths. Beautiful. Let's move into the next mantra, focusing on the throat chakra. This is opening up to the faculty of clear audience. This has a lot to do with speaking our truth, as well as being able to listen, the virtue of justness, being able to act in accordance, striking when the iron is hot, reserving ourselves, timing, paying attention. Timing is a very important thing. Oftentimes our ego will be the thing that rushes us into a situation. Someone will say something and we'll be like, I have something to say to that. But <laughs> let's practice in correlation with all the other chakras, the serenity that will just be like, let's just listen for a second. Hmm, okay, yeah, let's, okay, let's observe this. Oh, okay, and then I speak my truth, right? So pay attention to that. You have, my grandfather always said this, you have two ears, one mouth. Listen twice as much as you talk. So this is what this is about. <laughs> Use your voice wisely. Words create wor worlds. What are you speaking into existence each and every day? And again, focusing here on the throat chakra, the vowel is E, pronounced as in way. So A. For this one, you will notice the vibration in your throat. And again, the mantra, it's spinning the disc. It's exercising it like a muscle. And it's like clearing the dirt. So when you do this, it's kind of like housekeeping. Moves the chakra, clears the dirt clears the accumulation of the mud that builds up from this society that we live in. So, it's all good. <laughs> okay, as we spin our chakras, we spin the chakras of society. Something like that. Alright, closing your eyes, straighten up your spine, focusing in on the virtue of justness, paying attention to what this feels like in your throat when you do it together. Again, the vowel sound, A, and together, take a gentle inhale, exhale, just on its own. Next exhale, begin. And 
deep in ex- inhale, do it a bit longer. Inhale through the mouth, fill your lungs. One more. Beautiful. Awesome. Keeping your spine nice and straight. Again, moving into the next chakra, the heart chakra, the vowel O, pronounced as in snow. So O, the common one that many of us have heard before. The faculty here is intuition and also inspiration. A lot of that is coming in through the heart. And again, the virtue here is, of course, love. With each of the chakras, I commonly remind people that this isn't just about opening the chakras, but it is about balancing the chakras. That is the very, very important differentiation. So again, I just want to remind you that like any of these chakras can be open too much or they can be closed. And again, there's no shame. What we're trying to do though is we're trying to find the balance. So again, the obvious one with the throat chakra, since we just did that, an open throat chakra, a very open throat chakra, would be that person who just keeps talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. A very closed chakra would be someone who is you know, a little bit more quiet. And again, nothing wrong with that. But a balanced chakra is being able to speak your truth when you feel calm. Same with the heart chakra. The open heart chakra, the two, the very open heart chakra, can be someone who's like loving and loving and loving and loving, but then they end up exhausting themselves. Or maybe they don't have clear boundaries. Or maybe they're constantly getting hurt because their heart's so open. And then a closed, closed chakra can be someone who, again, it's very kind of, you know, just like to themselves, hermit mode. And again, you know, the balanced chakra is being able to have healthy boundaries for ourselves. Being able to love in, in ways that is serving us and serving others as best as possible so that we can continue to show up. So again, focusing on loving in a good way, loving in a way that is putting putting others before yourself, yet still making sure that you're taking care of yourself as well, filling your own, own cup so that you can fill others as well. So thank you again, everyone, for being here. Let's put our hands on our heart, straighten up our spine, close our eyes. Again, the vowel is O. Oh. So let's just take a gentle inhale by itself. Next breath, keeping in mind those you love, loving yourself. Together, inhale through the mouth or nose. Oh. Adding a gentle sway to your body in this moment. Deep inhale, right into the next one. One more, deep inhale through the mouth to get as much air as possible. Beautiful, beautiful. You guys are doing so good. I am so proud of you. Oh, every day. Just so happy. Okay. Again, we're not just doing this work just because it's, yeah, it's fun. I'm having fun. You're having fun. Okay, cool. But again, this is so that we can show up, so that we can align with ourselves, so that we can receive the, the birthright of having the grace to be able to move through this life with inspiration, with clarity, with purpose. So... Moving into the next chakra. The next chakras are the pulmonary chakras. Again, a lot of people are not very familiar with these. These are the chakras that are kind of located right here. Fact is, you've probably heard this. There's like a, a gajillion different chakras. These are just like the primary ones. Again, technically, uh, spoilers, every single thing in this reality is technically a chakra. If you're thinking about it in that way, every single atom is a black hole, an entrance and an exit, a place for information to come in and ca- come out of. These chakras are just culminating places of entry and exit. So... Just think about it that way. So that's why they are what they are, because everything is what they are. Duh. <laughs> just joking. Okay, moving into the next ch- chakras again, the pulmonary chakras. These are very important. Just massage these real quick. Massage these throughout your day. Honestly, we do not massage this part of our body enough. We do not massage ourselves part uh, enough. Just like, 
You know, if you're a bear, go rub up against a tree. If you're a human and you got pulsable thumbs, dig in deep, get into that fascia. That's where a lot of energy is being held. And so again, from here, the pulmonary chakras are also relating to the idea of ultra memory. Not only does it sound cool, but it's pretty awesome. This is about being able to connect with our higher dimensional memory, memories of our past lives, our ancestors, even our future memory beyond space and time. Very, very powerful concept. So again, this can become, as we activate these chakras, you might start having dreams about past lives a little bit more and things like that. Or you might just start having those moments where you're just like, oh yeah, I feel really called to be like a, like a baker in this life. Maybe I was a baker in another life or something like that. I don't know. It's just a very broad example. So we're all baking something. What are you baking? Cool. What's in your oven? Hashtag? I don't know. Okay. Moving into these ones, the vowel for this is the vowel A. Oh, actually we skipped. Okay, we skipped the solar. We're going to we're gonna do these and then we're going to go to the solar. That's all right. The vowel for these is A and pronounced as in saw. So, ah. Uh, and again, focusing here, as you focus on these chakras, even just focus on like the memory of past lives, the memory of your ancestors, the memory of your future. You guys can remember your future, right? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, cool. Okay, so straighten up the spine, putting your hands where you're comfortable. And again, with any of these chakras, just add a little sway to this. You don't have to be perfectly still. And together, we'll take a deep, gentle inhale, exhale on its own. <sighs> Next inhale through the mouth, nice and big. And together, ah, uh, when we're ready. Inhale. Ah. Uh... Continue, inhale through the nose, through the mouth, big lungs. Uh... Inhale together. Wonderful. All right, we got three more to go and then we're done. So next one going to be the solar chakra. This is, again, focusing on the virtue of temperance. Again, temperance is a lot of being able to have moderation, being able to do things when the timing is right. Maybe you got something that you really, really, really want to do, but maybe you should save it as a reward for yourself. Actually use it as a bit of like a goal for you to be able to reach and then you can do it. So instead of being like, oh, you know, like, I really want to watch that Netflix thing that, that, that you guys watch the Netflix. Yeah, it's a cool thing. So maybe you want to watch something on the Netflix, but maybe you should save it for later after you have accomplished all of your duties for today. You know, just as a little thing. Give yourself those little rewards. That's very important. And again, that can be that, those can be social things. Make sure you're rewarding yourself. That's incredibly important. But make sure you're rewarding yourself with temperance. Maybe you do want to have that bowl of ice cream. But maybe you should have that bowl of ice cream after you've done such and such and such. And make sure you're having your ice cream in moderation. Not every single not every single meal, but when it feels right. So. Having temperance is very important, and again, this also connects with the with the faculty of telepathy. So again, a lot of being able to get that gut feeling from things. Listen to that again. That gut feeling that, in many ways, can be thought of as a ripple from the future, a ripple of information coming into you. So that's where you might have something where you might meet someone and you just be like, "Oh, like, I want to connect with them." Like, "Oh, I felt something inside me," or maybe something's just like, "Oh." I'm going to, I'm going to create a boundary to be able to, you know, just like, maybe I don't want to hang out with that person and that's okay. You can pick and choose who you hang out with. You really, really can. So having that telepathy, developing that intuition is very, very practical. So practical. It also helps us connect with synchronicity. When you're walking downtown, practice listening to your intuition, practice listening to that idea of being like, Ooh, should I go left or should I go right? Should I go into this store? Should I go that way? And then you do, and then you kind of follow this like magical path that the universe has for you. And then you start finding synchronicities, go on a little like synchronicity journey for yourself and listen to your intuition. Your intuition is again, like 
the future already exists and the information from that future is coming back through waves that is hitting us in the present moment and received through our chakras. But maybe you already knew that. So, <laughs> okay, let's move into the chakra for the solar plexus. We'll uh, do two more after this and then we'll wrap it up. Then after that, do you want me to, do you guys want me to like practice like levitating on my ball? Can I do this at the same time? Yeah, I might as well. Okay, if anybody has an exercise ball, please feel free to bring this into your practice for bonus points. All right, so again, closing your eyes, balancing on your medicine ball, if you got it. Just kidding, please don't do that. Please don't close your eyes and balance on a medicine ball. That's very, very advanced. So sitting comfortably where you are, focusing on the chakra, the solar chakra, putting your hands on your solar chakra. The vowel for this is U, pronounced as in blue, so ooh. And so together, here, close your eyes, unless you're on a ball like me. Jesus. <laughs> Should I do it? No, okay. And gently breathe, just connect with your breath. Gentle inhale, exhale, try not to laugh at me. Please, please don't laugh at me. I can hear you laughing. It's okay, you're allowed to. All right. Next, inhale, exhale, the vowel U, ooh, together. Uh, inhale. Ooh. Deep inhale again. Sweet. All right. Again, you guys are doing wonderful. I can hear your chakras in my heart. Okay, moving into the next chakra, focusing on the sacral chakra. This is a vowel M, pronounced mmm, in the same way as if you're, like, eating something. And this is also helping activate the faculty of astral projection. Again, this is a lot to do with our sexual energies, our sacral energies. is, is a lot to do with sexuality. The virtue of this is chastity. Again, the idea of chastity doesn't mean, hey, don't have sex ever. It just means, hey, have control of your sexual impulses to be able to regain your own sovereignty and to be able to save that energy energy to be able to focus it towards other aspects of your life, such as inspiration and creative purposes and service for others. So the sexual energy is super, super important. And when you cultivate it, that is actually a key for being able to access the higher astral planes. Honestly, if you haven't been cultivating your sexual energy, it's almost impossible for you to be able to properly astral project. It's, there's like literally a science to it. And that's because the fluid literally rises up through your spine and connects to your neocortex. And it's a very, very magical thing because you're a magical thing too. You're so magical. You're so magical. <laughs> you already knew that, though. All right, let's keep doing this, and we'll wrap it up in the next little minute. I want to be able to honor your time. I know this one's going a little bit over, but hey, we've been having fun. But um, shh. Okay, moving into this one, putting your hands gently on your sacral chakra, if you wish to, and focusing here on the idea of purity, releasing any shame related to sexual stuff or anything like that. You know, maybe your impulses got the better of you the other day, but hey, that was yesterday, today's today, you're a new person. Learn what that made you feel like, decide who you wanna be in the future. You are in control of who you wanna be and be able to learn from each opportunity as a chance to be able to refine your own willpower. So a lot of this is related to willpower and simply by you being here, by you showing up to this practice, that's you practicing your willpower because there's a part of you that's just like, I don't want to practice chakra meditation. I've got better things to do. That's apparently what you sound like up inside your own head. That's what you sound like sometimes because I sound like that sometimes too. So, <laughs> so you're, you're, that's your ego, right? Like this is this whole practice is about dissolving the ego. And again, it's not to say you're getting rid of the ego, but you're just like, oh, I hear you, ego. You're challenging me, and you're helping me develop my willpower. <sighs> iron sharpens iron. All right, hands on the sacral chakra, focusing on the vowel M, focusing on the virtue of chastity. So, closing your eyes when you're ready, straightening up your spine, adding a little wiggle to your tailbone if you want. And together, gentle inhale through the mouth, and exhale on its own. 
Next inhale, exhale, the vowel, mm, together. Again. Moving into the final shock. It's the final shock. Oh, sorry. I forgot where I was for a second. Oh, crap. People are watching me. <laughs> Stop embarrassing yourself, Brandon. No, it's okay. All right, moving into the root chakra. This is a vowel S. This is the rising of the snake, the fire sizzling. And again, this is also like part of like the Kundalini awakening. Honestly, for those of you out there who are just like, be like, guys, I have to awaken my Kundalini. All of the cool kids are doing it, and I have to do it too. Honestly, don't worry about it. Don't don't even think too much about the Kundalini. I, I mean, I'm aware. I'm, I, I guess it's like it's a thing. It's an energy. It, it, it kind of like and stuff like that. Don't worry about it. It's a thing that will, like, it, it comes to us when the time is right sort of thing. And honestly, by reaching after it is not actually how you acquire it. It's more of kind of like a patience thing and working on the little things that add up to it as well. So don't, don't, if the Kundalini is a thing, research it, that's cool. But I wouldn't spend too much time putting that as your objective. At least that's just my thoughts. So focusing on the root chakra. And again, in correlation to this, the root chakra is about patience. So this is about like obviously grounding, connecting with our roots, having the firm foundation, but it is about patience. So having patience with ourselves, having patience with our own journey, having patience with the idea that this chakra practice is something that will accumulate over time. Yeah, you're probably going to be feeling pretty good after this one, but do this consecutively. Join me here each and every day as best as you can, and you will be a freaking X-Men, basically. I won't spoil it for you, but essentially that's what... Side note, side note, we're secretly building a global team of superheroes. I don't know if you realize that, but that's actually what we're doing here. So, now you know. Okay, that's you. And your superpower is being who you are. Aww. No, there's more to it than that. You got, like, laser eyes and stuff like that. It's, don't worry about it. Okay. Patience. Your time will come, for it is already here, if you are ready for it. Focusing on the root chakra, hands gently on the roots. If you want to, whatever's comfortable for you. Straighten up the spine. Deep exhale, deep, deep inhale, deep exhale. The vowel S, the fire rising, focusing on the virtue of patience. Together, deep inhale, and we'll do it together. Really try and make this one audible. How loud can you make this one? Okay, now dial back, not too loud, just gentle. Beautiful. Just keep your eyes closed here just for a few more moments. Practicing patience. I want you to be able to use this space to enjoy the serenity and to really acknowledge how proud you are of yourself. Now you may be thinking, well, Brendan, I, 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 there were some things that I did last week or the week before, or maybe I've been doing this or my habits haven't been perfect, and I'm not proud of who I, what I have done. I'm, I'm not proud of it. Blah, 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 but you have every right to be proud of the direction you are choosing for yourself in this moment. 
Be proud of your ambitions. Be proud of your direction. Be proud of the targets you have ahead of you. And that will help guide you there. It will be the wind for your sails. Did you ever know that you're my hero? That you are the wings beneath, wind beneath my wings. Anyways, you are the wind beneath your wings. Did you know that? Be your own hero. Take a moment here and just breathe. Reflect on how proud you are of who you are choosing to be. Not just for yourself. For your family, for your friends, for your children, for your ancestors, for that beautiful, cute human in the mirror. Your story is bigger than your own. Your purpose is bigger than you know. Showing up here is a valuable step in honoring that story. Be proud of who you are. I am proud of who you are. Say that mantra to yourself. I am proud of who I am. I am proud of who I am. I am proud of who I am. I am. And just take a couple more breaths here. And on the exhales, any deep exhale with audible noises. So... <sighs> moving the body, opening up your eyes, relaxing and releasing and stretching and shooting some Kamehamehas of love. Kamehameha. So there we go. Mission accomplished. Uh, again, we went, went a little bit longer today. I try to keep these within 30 minutes. Uh, but hey, 45 minutes. You get to you got to hang out with me for 45 freaking minutes if you tuned into this from the beginning. Holy crap. I got to hang out with you. I am so lucky. Thank you so much for being here. Again, be sure to check out more at ParadigmShiftCentral.com. There's always a lot that is being worked on with like the community and so much content coming your way. I am here. My purpose is here to be able to help create inspirational conscious media. So if you enjoy the content that is being created here, know that it is made possible. The profits are made possible thanks to the community support. And this is done by people donating ideally through monthly contributions. So if you want to be able to be like, yes, Brendan, I see what you're doing. I like what you're doing. I see the value it has for the community and I want to be able to invest my cosmic vote in this. One of the best ways you can do this is by contributing a monthly donation as a super supporter. And here's the cool part. When you do, you also get an exclusive discount key for questitemshop.com to be able to get 25% off any of your orders, which is super generous and super awesome. And of course, through there, you can get some of the exclusive items we have, such as the Light Guardian Crystals, and of course, the Paradigm Shift Buttons, which have the Paradigm Shift Central website on them. These aren't just buttons. These are tools to be able to help evoke meaningful moments, meaningful interactions, experiences. You give them to people. You create synchronicity. You build community. They are tools to serve you. And of course, even link them back to my work. So again, check that out. Send me a DM if you want to, if you even just, if you just watch this video, send me a DM. Let me know that you watch this. I love being able to hang out with you again. And of course we will be here tomorrow. And, um, yeah, be sure to share this broadcast with your friends and let me know when you did tag me in your stories. Let's Share the love. This is a tool for us to be able to help assist each other in that process. So wishing you all the amazing good vibes coming your way on this beautiful day. Another opportunity to be alive. This life is a gift. Appreciate it. Do your mantras on the bus when people are looking at you and get as weird as possible. Just <laughs> that's your goal. Whatever. 
<laughs> Again, wrapping it up here. Got plenty more things to do. Looking forward to sharing some more opportunities with you. And as always, keep it shifty. Much love. Uh, DM me if you want that two-hour lecture for the chakra meditation. And you can also find that at ParadigmsEssential.com and Skull Babylon on YouTube. And shout out to everyone who's watching this on Facebook. Be sure to share this as well. And yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. We did it. So, woo! Your chakras are activated. Woo! Do you feel that? Do you feel that like lightness, that joy, that peace? You are alive right now. After this, go be sure, make sure you get some fresh air. Go look at the sun. If you're feeling like you just need a little bit more of this, do a little more of this. Go dance, massage, practice your mantras throughout the day. You got this. Good job, team. Good job. All right. Get on with your mission. As always, keep it shifty, and we will see you in the future. This has been Wolf with Waking Up with Wolf. Let's get a little wolf howling together and wrap it up. I want to hear you howl. Woof, woof. Cool. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Much love. And as always, I will see you in the future. Peace and wholeness.